Welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. Today I would like to talk about this species. This piece is about uh, the celebration of music, the power of music, and the impact it can have on the soul. We know that uh, music can be very uplifting. So, for example, if you are feeling down and you listen to music, you can actually uh, be very uplifted. And I would especially like to lay a strong emphasis on the meaning of the drum. Long time ago, in Africa, for many, many, many centuries, drums were used as great symbols of communication. So, for example, when a drum beat would be actually heard, people would actually know what would be going on. So, for example, to let people know about a specific event, a certain drum beat would be played and people would actually join for that event. And also another another power of music, it has also like a spiritual impact. For example, there are many uh, ceremonies that involve like mask or for example, like have a celebration in which a drum is played. And if you can see all these shapes and colors, it's all about showing the joy and the happiness that music can actually bring about. And moving to this piece, I would like to tell you that this is about uh, a message which focuses on the preservation of the, the oceans and the seas around the world. Because we know nowadays seas and oceans are being polluted. People throw a lot of plastic into the oceans and, and, and those plastic waste end up finally uh, getting uh, into those sea creatures. We have, for example, like some turtles that actually uh, open their mouth in the seas and all those plastic trash end up getting choked in their uh, tract. So this is a way for me, for people to pay close attention to the ocean and appreciate it. So that's why I actually have like a, a fish with many patterns, which was actually a good example of a water environment that is very clean. So this is a way for me to attract people's attention to the beauty of the sea so people can actually uh, preserve sea life. And moving on to this space, this tree is called the Baobab tree. The Baobab in uh, West Africa symbolized many places. It used to be a place of gathering where elders, where people would actually uh, sit under. And the Baobab is also a symbol of strength because it lives like in a place that's very arid. It can be dry. There can be a uh, different type of storms and winds. But despite everything, the Baobab would still stand very strong. So that's what this is all about. You know, showing the beauty of the Baobab tree. And the drum and this uh, traditional guitar I have actually added is all about for decorating purpose and actually uh, putting this painting within a very African context. Moving on to this piece. Over here, I'm sharing like some of those containers and utensils that you might find like in a traditional African home or you can just find it in the kitchen. Here you have something a container uh, back home that we call like a nal in Wolof, or we can call it Londe in Fulani, or just Canary in French. It is actually used to store water. And we have also this item which can be used to store water. It can be uh, also used uh, to store food. So you have this special container over here, which is called uh, like a, a Canary in French, or a Londe in Fulani, or a Ndal in Wolof. And this is called the Leket in Wolof. It's also called uh, it's it's also it's also called horde in Fulani. So this actually to lay a strong emphasis on the beauty of those utensils we can find within a traditional African uh, context. And even in the background we have this uh, textile that actually uh, reminds you of those uh, the technique of tie dye in African in the African culture. For example, if you go to Nigeria, we have the tie-dye with many uh, blue hues called the Adire Eloko. So it puts the whole thing within a very uh, African cultural context. Well, that's what I had uh, for you today for this country art show. And I'll see you next time for another one.